All right, let's go back to Lisa Fernandez now, who's getting some tips from some of the world's very best pole dancers this morning, Lise. I'm sorry, I was just saying to Felix, I should have got you at the shop where you know you had your leg up. Can oh, you do that oh, thing? Look, look at it, she just does that. This? Oh, stop it. Felix Kane. <laughs> Felix Kane is an absolute champion. She's a Perth girl. She's performed in Cirque du Soleil and the pole dancing championships are named after her. And they're this Friday at Metropolis. Morning, Felix. Good morning. I love how you can just do that. All right. So talk us through uh, this competition. Mm -hmm. It's massive. It's international. It is international. It's a huge deal. It's, um, you could compare it to the Pole Olympics. Pole Olympics. Much, yeah. Okay. So let's talk it through. We have uh, Ruby is a Perth girl. Ruby now what's is. Ruby doing Ruby now? Ruby is currently doing an inside leg hang and she's going to push through into a Felix. This name is, this is named oh after me. Oh my god! Because I invented it. <laughs> do that? And this is an Iron X. This okay. is an incredibly difficult move. I can't and even. And she's smiling. So. I mean, she's smiling. <laughs> I mean, the strength in the hands to hold Incredibly. that. Tim, I don't know if you've ever been on a pole, but I can tell you, you'd last about one second <laughs> being able to do that. This is beautiful, Camille. Now, is Camille. these are all the competitors tonight. Talk about what Camille's, Camille's doing. Camille's doing a ballerina variation. Yeah. This is, it's again, the inside leg is hooked, and this is called a candy knot grip. Shoulder mount. Oh, God. That's incredibly difficult as well. <laughs> it's really incredible because they make it look so easy. They and do. It's really not. It's really not. It's incredibly, yeah, incredibly the flexibility hard. Flexibility and strength that you need to do even any one of these moves. Wow. It's an incredible. I think, so you, an I think our viewers, job. Felix, will see how hard it is when I actually give something a go at eight thirty <laughs> and yeah. am an appalling mess. Now, what, what you were saying was there only a couple of guys in the competition? Exactly, only a couple of guys. We yep. still are a very women-based, uh, women-dominated yes. sport, but the guys guys are giving it an incredible go. Okay, Sonia's only been Sydney. dancing for yes. two two years, just yeah. two years. So he's made incredible progress yeah. and he's really doing the guys proud. Yeah. Tim, is this the warm-up that you said that you do prior <laughs> to getting on the news? Is yeah, most mornings. Look, I do it in about. private though, Lisa. I don't like to show off. Yeah, no, well done on that. Now, Felix, you've been dancing for how long? I've been dancing since I was four, so 26 years. Pole dancing, I've been dancing for yeah. 10 years. Oh, it's just fantastic that these competitors are coming over. And like we said, it is the Pole Olympics. Uh, what would you say to people watching at home who might want to start pole dancing, Felix? I would say uh, <laughs> we've got some very exciting news. I will be opening a studio very soon. Hopefully, the beginning of next year will be open. It will be called the Felix Kane Academy. Oh, wow. So look out for that one. We're going to have pole dancing. We will also have circus arts. So we're going to yeah. do aerial silks, aerial lira, yeah. flexibility, contortion, and all the fun things. And I've got to say, you know what's great about Felix? She is a Perth girl and she has has uh, been travelling the world uh, with shows like Cirque du Soleil and that is no mean feat and that's something really to be proud of and I'm glad you've come home Thank to you. open up your own studio. Just do the weather Felix while this is going on. Perth today it's going to be sunny and 31, Perth tomorrow sunny and 33, uh, Saturday sunny 33, Sunday mostly sunny 30, Monday <laughs> partly cloudy 29, Tuesday sunny and 29, Wednesday sunny and 30. Ice Age Live, Felix, can you stay like that actually while I, I do this? Ice Age Live, today's winners are uh, Julie Cortes from Padbury and Amy Haynes from Forest Field. Now, uh, you can go along to Perth Arena and see Ice Age Live next year. We've got a family pass uh, to give away. You just need to go to the Nine News Facebook page to enter. Winner announcement will be tomorrow. Hey, where's my cameraman? Gerard, I'm going to work up and practice to do this particular move that Felix is doing right now, all right? So I'm going to work on that for the 8.30. We're going to come back with some more pole dancers uh, as well and chat more about the competition which is happening tomorrow night. Tickets are still available from Metropolis. How so does Felix awesome. tie his shoes in the morning, Lise? How do, you, how do you tie your shoes in the morning? No, and you can just, just go down like and do that. the splits just instantly. Oh. Like boom, like just boom. Oh, there it is. Wow. I don't know, Tim. I really like. <laughs> I'm so jealous. And that's at her house, so I bet she's got some um, got some happy neighbours. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's Julie's house. Julie does pole dancing. She was a student. We could talk about this all day. It's live TV. Go Thank away. We'll see you at eight thirty. <laughs>